Hey everybody, Sean here, and I hope you're doing well. First John says that no one has ever seen God, but Exodus says that God spoke to Moses face to face, and that's what we'll look at today. John 1 says that no one has ever seen God except for Jesus, and 1 John tells us this again. Yet, in Genesis 32, Jacob says that he saw God face to face, and in Exodus 33, it says that God spoke to Moses face to face like a friend. But just nine verses later, God tells Moses that nobody can see God's face and live. So, on the surface, this seems a bit confusing. People have even used the example of Moses in their past comments when defending false teachers and their trips to heaven and hanging out with God. The first thing we need to look at is the Hebrew word for face, which is pani. And we can see that it doesn't necessarily mean face like on a human. It can mean like the surface of the deep or face of the waters or in the open. The second thing we need to remember is that God is spirit. And Jesus tells us in Luke that spirits don't have flesh and bones and therefore don't have physical faces either. So what does it mean when it says God spoke to Moses face to face if this isn't literal? This is most likely a figure of speech called anthropomorphism in which human qualities are applied to God. So face to face is idiomatic and also metaphorical. In verse 11, the idiom face-to-face -face can simply be understood to mean intimately. Moses spoke with God as man speaks to a friend. In verses 20 and 23, face and back are in reference to God's glory and goodness that we see in verses 18 and 19. Since God is spirit and since glory and goodness are both intangible, we can take face and back to signify varying degrees of glory. God's hand in verse 22 is an obvious reference to God's protection. In the Bible, God often communicates using terms easily understood in the human experience. So God's use of anthropomorphism in Exodus 33 was a perfect way to describe what was happening. As humans, we know the importance of somebody's face. To readily identify somebody, we study their face. It's also the face of a person that reveals the most information about their character, mood, and personality. But if all we catch is a glimpse of a person from behind, we are left without a lot of valuable information, and it's difficult to identify a person if all we can see is a back view. When God told Moses, you cannot see my face for no one may see me and live, he was saying that seeing God as he is in the fullness of his glory is more than any mortal man can tolerate. Therefore, to protect Moses, God was only going to reveal that portion of his majesty and power that was humanly possible to absorb. God communicated this plan to Moses in a way that we can all understand. You cannot look at me full in the face, meaning it's impossible for you to know everything about me, but I will allow you to see my back. I will reveal to you a small portion of my nature so as not to overwhelm you. And all of this makes Jesus' words to Philip all the more amazing. Anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. When Jesus walked this earth with his glory veiled, they could look him in the face. On one brief occasion, Jesus' glory was revealed in this world at the Transfiguration. And isn't it interesting that Moses was there speaking to the glorified Lord face to face? But people cannot defend these false trips to heaven and talking to God face to face based on Moses' experience. So, as always, leave your thoughts and comments below. And until next time, take care and God bless.